Hey, it's Danielle McCulley here, also known as DMAC, and today I wanted to go over the FCP Sniper system. I know a lot of you think it's different than the Forecaster Pro, but it's not. Um, it is the same system. The FCP Sniper is just an updated version. So the only thing that was updated, I, I believe, um, is this current indicator here. So this is different than the original version. This current here is better for scalping. Um, in the original version, you can also use it for scalping, but the early bird entry signal, which are the colored arrows here, they were more, I guess, a little aggressive. I don't know. But to me, um, the updated version, your entries are going to be a little bit safer. So. Um, yeah, that's mainly the only difference. All right. So I want to go over some key points because a lot of you still want to know what to look for, you know, how to read and use the system, um, how to read and understand the Doppler, which is the indicator down here at the bottom. Um, yeah, so we're going to go over some key points and hopefully those of you that already own a copy hopefully you'll find this video helpful and for those of you that are still on the fence can't make up your mind if you want to purchase one or not um, hopefully this video will answer a lot of questions that you may have also so yeah let's um, talk about the FCP sniper so right now we have GA on the four hour chart pulled up on my screen and it was kind of hard finding some good examples because right now a lot of pairs are just kind of ranging which is what they do during this time of the year but we got GA which is one of my favorite pairs on the H4 got some good movement also the H1 got some good movement the D1 got a nice little breakout some good movement on those so we'll just use those higher time frames um, to talk about what you want to look for when you're looking for a good setup and I know some of you had questions about you know which time frame is best and which time frame has the most successful trades um, I'm not really sure how to answer that because I use multiple time frame analysis, so I'm always looking at the M15 up until the daily. Um, I don't know, sometimes check the weekly, the monthly. It just depends, you know, what type of swing trader you are, how long do you swing and hold your trades. So, you know, that determines which um, time frames you'll go off also but anyway let's talk about what you want to look for you know and like I said this is the same system as the forecaster pro so the strategy is still the same um, one of the first things that you want to look for is you want to um, find a pair where price is at some type of support and resistance level um, you have the auto support and resistance indicator that will plot these lines for you which is really cool because I know a lot of people don't really know where to draw those you know resistance and support lines um, some people may draw too many and it may be too much or whatever so you don't have to worry about that because this will automatically plot them for you now to me this is a good setup for a sale and also a buy but let's talk about the sale first so you have this little indicator and I don't know if you guys know this or not but um, this little peak marker here this can be used as a reversal signal also now this is your main reversal signal looks like this but you'll get these little yellow dots here which to me are just like pivot points but when you get the yellow dot with the little pink sun around it, um, 
those can be used as reversal signals also but you have to be careful because they will repaint all right so yes the reversal signals will will repaint but as far as these entry signals here they will not repaint so you don't have to worry about those all right so why is this a good setup for a sale well if you look you can see you know the 200 is going to be key um, you got price trading below the 200 up here and then if you come down here you can see you have the weekly resistance but right here is acting as support and then you also have the 800 now the 800 is one of my favorite um, moving averages you can get some really clean entries off that 800 um, it just requires a little bit of patience so yeah all right so like I was saying you got the 800 here that's acting as support you got the weekly resistance that's acting as support and you have the 200 where so that you know price is trading below that so it's looking like we're in a downtrend right so once price um, breaks below some type of support and it comes back and retest and then that same support is now acting as resistance that is a good sign that you know this is going to continue to the downside and you can see the wicks right here um, the wicks it wicked the 800 first and then this would be the perfect sale here entry so you can get in here no drawdown at that point because it's coming off that 800 which is really strong um, support and resistance you can take it down and that's another question a lot of you wanted to know like as far as your TPs you know how do you know how to when to take profit and that's going to be a personal preference too but you can always use this um, these levels these resistance and support levels as potential take profit too and you also want to pay attention to the Doppler and what it's doing. So like if you entered here and you caught that that drop, you can look down here on the Doppler and you can see that this at this point it is extremely oversold. So you might see this blue RSI line get down here and it's at the kill zone. It's like at the 10. So you may be thinking, okay, well, I better exit because it could be reversing here so that's why I say you always have to look at the bigger picture um, I forget to look at everything sometimes too you know sometimes we just get keyed in and focus on a certain thing that we forget to look at the overall picture but if you're looking at everything you know that's what's going to save you from you know the fake outs and things like that or it's going to help you with entering and exiting your trades. You know, this Doppler down here is going to be a key component in your analysis. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But yeah, that's this is why I would say that was a pretty good sale setup just because of price and where it was around the, the moving averages and you know at the resistance and support now same thing here for um, the buy so if you're looking to buy you're, you're looking for price to be at some type of support now this is the reversal so that was the warning and depending on how aggressive you are as a trader I mean you could enter this you could enter on this signal the reversal signal but you want to come down here and make sure that the Doppler is confirming you know the buy well another good indication right here you already got the you know you got the big bullish engulfing candle here and you also got the the RSI blue price line crossing above the red line and look it's right there at your smart buy zone so yeah 
you can feel good about entering early there or you can play it safe and wait and you still get like 300 pips all right so let's look at the one hour um pretty much the same thing with the buy is that that's this is the daily support so it's pretty you know the higher the time frames of course the stronger your support or resistance is going to be so this is the daily then you got the weekly supply and so on so what i like to do i start on the h4 the four hour and then i like to look for my entries on the m15 so one of the things you can do this is a little easy little trick that you can do you can take this vertical line and you can look down here and see where this blue line crosses above this red line so we'll just draw a line there and then we'll extend it up all right so this is on the four hours so you know after this vertical line you already know that the market is reversing to the upside the blue line already crossed above you're down here like I said at your smart buy so what you can do is you can drop down I don't know you can look for an entry on the one hour if you you want to swing it you know and after that vertical line this is the vertical line from the four hour chart you're only looking for buy signals so you're looking for entry here you could have entered here now you can drop down to the 15 and you may have to scroll back there we go to find where that line is and so remember it's in an uptrend after this line or it's reversed and it's going into an uptrend so you're looking for buy signals not all signals are going to be good signals um, like I said they do not repaint so you'll get a lot of false signals but you're looking for only buy signals you could have got in here because you're at some type of support you got in here it it would have came back a little bit but not much and you could have carried it up to this use this as a TP for 147 pips you could have took it up to the 800 for 200 pips and this is on the M15 so that's some good pips right there again you're looking for only buy signals after that vertical line so that's the little trick that you can use um, to help simplify things you know look for a reversal signal and then come down here on the Doppler and look for if you're looking to buy look for that blue line across above that red line and it works the same for a sale so let's see here on the daily I'll show you how it works for a sale on the daily so you come down here we'll say that it's right at this reversal signal we're going to delete that one and when you come down here right after it you got the blue line crossing down over the red line um, it's not really well it is above the 68 um, it's right at the 80 so after that hold on somebody's at my door just a second all right sorry about that I had an unexpected guess I don't know why people just stop by without giving you a heads up but anyway so what were we talking about yeah so for the buy um yeah you, you're looking for price to be at some type of support and let's see here you know it's just kind of ranging on the 15 and that's another reason why if you kind of use like the vertical line okay yeah this is what we we're talking about okay so if you use the vertical line tool to draw the line right at the reversal 
signal and then come down here to confirm it on the Doppler the blue line cross below the red and you can just kind of drop down let's see the H4 you may have to go back so look on the H4 you know you could have got in right there and really wrote that down let's see what the H1 looks like so you might have to go all the way back since it's the daily but hopefully you get the point of what I was saying it works really well for the one hour and the 15 sorry ooh wee I'm popular tonight <laughs> okay sorry about that alright so I was saying that you know if you do this on the one the H4 in the one hour um, it works out pretty good so you can do the H1 you know um, you'd have to go back let's see how that looks here reversal signal it crosses up you can drop down to the 30 yep so you could get in right here because you've already you know confirmed it there you could let's see what the 15 minute looks like and there you go so after this line you're only looking for buy signals you could have got in right here that would have been the sniper entry right there come down here to confirm it is that the smart buy the blue price line is come you know crossing up so that would be a good entry and what was that that was on the one hour so that's a little trick that you can use to help simplify things just requires a little bit of patience all right so Again, you're looking for price to be at some type of support or resistance level. Um, as far as TP, take profits. Now, if you look at this, you can see, um, you know, the market, it just likes to retest highs and lows. So you can use these as potential take profit targets. See, like on the 30 minute. Um, let's see. So if you look at in here, you could have you could have taken it here. Then once price it broke above, came back and retested, you could have held it. You could have took it up to the next level. You could take it up to the 800. So you know it's totally up to you. Um, but those are good potential levels for take profit the next support or resistance level all right so now let's just talk about the Doppler real quick and I think some of you you wanted to know like you know what each line um, represents or what it stands for um, let's see yeah, you want to know what, what each line means on the Doppler. All right, so the the green line, this is the RSI 7. Um, I added this because, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it, it's, to me, it gives you a clearer little, little picture of what price is doing. Like, it really, you can really see those, peaks highs and lows on the um, RSI 7 so that's optional like if you don't like that if it's too busy for you you can just come in here and you can delete it but I'm just going to um, we're just gonna put no color on it and get rid of it all right so these are the main three lines of the Doppler all right so the blue line that's your RSI price line the red line is the signal line so to confirm a signal you're looking for the blue line across above the red line that's confirming the buy as you can see right here come down here it confirms it so hop in there and write it up and for a sales signal 
even though these are not good sales signals because one um look where you're at you're right here at the 32 and come up here you can see that how close price is to you know the current indicator how close price is to the 800 so you wouldn't really be looking to sell right there it's just kind of consolidating but to confirm the sell signal even though it still gave a sell signal it's not a good one but if you come down here you can see that that blue line crossed below the red signal line all right so these levels use them because they are um, they're really good and they will help you get a bigger picture too of what price is doing so let's look at the daily and I just started noticing this I mean I've noticed it before but I've really just started paying attention to this um, so I know a lot of times we only focus on this blue RSI line and we're looking for it to cross below or above the red signal line and this is what I mean when I say you have to look at the overall picture because a very important you know piece to the puzzle is going to be this yellow line this is your market baseline this will help you determine the trend and it will also help you determine whether you know the trade can be more of a long-term trade or short-term trade depending on where you know the RSI line is around that the market baseline the the yellow line so how do you read that all right so this is on the daily and this is a good example of a perfect sell signal you know you can get in here like I said if you want to be aggressive you can enter here just because you you got it confirmed down here and when I say that the yellow line will help you identify the trend so when you have this going down of course you're in a downtrend if you come up here and look yep from here it's going down from here to here it's going down you know so a key thing that I just started paying attention to um, like I said a lot of times we're looking for the price line to hit these levels but a, a huge key as far as when it comes to reversals is going to be this yellow line and you're looking for this yellow market baseline once it gets close by this 32 the star trend or when it crosses below you can start anticipating some type of reversal so if it crosses below the 32 you can anticipate a reversal to the upside all right so let's look at this picture here so it came down here you're in a downtrend it did cross below the 32 here and as you can see it started to push up but what happened this yellow line it will always find its way back to the 50 you know and so when it's below the 50 you're in a bearish market when it's above the 50 you're in a bullish market all right so once it no matter how far it gets away from that 50 it's always going to come back to it how low it gets it's always going to come back to it so here you got the yellow market baseline it did cross below here and you can think like okay well I could enter a buy here and even though it gave you a buy but if you entered here you're gonna to have to deal with a bunch of drawdown because this is on the daily time frame so it looks like it's crossing up it looks like it's gonna reverse but what happens when it hits that 50 it's rejected it didn't cross above the 50 it curves back down so it did exactly that up here it came up kind of consolidated 
played around this 800 and 200 and this daily resistance then actually broke below and you can see the blue cross below here now that would be what you would consider a short-term trade I know this is the daily but I'm just trying to show you like this is a short trade here and it's a short trade because down here you're already below the market baseline so you can't you could write it down here and you say oh this is over so this is down at the kill zone at the level 10 so you want to get out you don't want to be holding it a sell when you get down to here all right because you can anticipate some type of reversal once price reaches this level so going back to the market baseline it came up to the 50 it looks like a rejection it curves back down now it didn't cross back below the 32 but it still curved down a little bit it flattened out here it starts to flatten out and then it starts to push up so that's a key this yellow line is going to tell you it's going to help you identify the trend and it's going to tell, help you identify whether you're in a bullish or bearish market. So at this point right here, you're still below the 50, but you can see it's starting to point up. So you know you're going in the uptrend at this point. And then if you come up here, it confirms it. So it kind of flattens out then it starts to curve up right he right about here and then right when it's starting to curve up what else do you have you have this blue line that kind of bounced off the red signal line so it didn't cross back it kind of bounced off here and then you got your buy signal and you just ride it all the way up and so the same thing for a sell so right now it's like you're above you're above the 50 so you're in a bullish bullish market here but once it got to the 68 which what level is that it says in trend so once that yellow line gets close to that 68 sometimes it will cross the 68 so once it gets around the 68 or crosses above the 68 you can start anticipating a reversal to the downside and so this is a perfect example of that it didn't cross well it crossed a, just a little bit above right here so you got your reversal signal your your market baseline it hits the 68 flattens out then it starts to curve down so now you know that you're reversing at this point and you're taking it all the way down so when that yellow line it crossed the 32 here so you could be thinking okay I want to exit this because this could reverse back to the upside or it could be just a pullback because what can happen just like it did over here you know this yellow line can go up here touch the 50 and bounce off of it and just fall back down so it just be a pullback and then a continuation to the downside so hopefully that makes sense um, I know a lot of people don't understand how to read the Doppler but you have to pay attention this is important that yellow baseline is important like I said I just really started focusing and zoning in on this and you can see how well it plays out like it hit the 32 here kind of flattened out and then it started curving up you got the reversal and then you also got your currents changing to green and they're going to the upside and don't just look at you know the indicators you know look at price action and see what it's doing also so you can see here 
you got higher lows being created, a low, a higher low, a higher low. So you're in the up, it's going up, you're starting the uptrend. All right. So I think that's basically it. Um, you know, some people wanted to know what's the best scalping time frame. And to me, that's just, like I said, you know, that's a personal preference. Um, to me, I think analyzing the one hour and then looking for your entry on the M30 or the M15, I think that's perfect for scalping. But for other scalpers, that may be too long or too big of a time frame. They may want to use the M1 and the M5. Now, I will use the M5. I do not fool with the M1. But as you can see, you can use this on all time frames. Look at that. So you got price at this um, daily resistance, which is now support. And you can take it all the way up. 35 pips and that's another thing about the one minute to me it's just not enough pips but hey if you're throwing big lot sizes then you might lot you might like the one minute you know and just do a little quick pip and dip um, this is the one minute this would be a good setup for a sale because you get this little reversal point here prices at the M15 resistance and you got the sale signal. You already got the cross down here. So it seems like a lot to pay attention to. But I think the more you use the system, you know, it becomes easier, you know, to identify all these things. But hopefully this video has shared some insight, um, giving you guys some clarity and all that good stuff um, but I think that's about it that's just basically what you're looking for um, in a nutshell as far as that perfect setup look for I forgot to mention this you also want to look for exhaustion exhaustion on the Doppler so you want to look for pairs that are overbought or oversold and that's going to be for some people they just use this 68 the entrant um, but I like to see price in the smart sale zone which is above the 80 or the smart buy which is around or below the 20 so those are some key levels to keep in mind um, like I said, a lot of times it'll price will just come to the 68 and you can catch a good, you know, sale from here. Or it might just come to this 32 and you can catch a good buy signal there. All right. So if you still have questions after this video, you know, you can always shoot me a message or email, whatever works for you. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And for those of you that do not have a copy of the FCP Sniper and you would like to grab a copy, there will be a link below the video. Um, it will take you over to my website and you can learn more about it. But I think this video kind of covers a lot, of the, a lot of the key points. And this is actually a demo account that I started maybe a few days ago I don't know let's look at the account history started with a thousand dollars um and this is just for scalping because I wanted to just test some different strategies for scalping purposes so I will only be taking scalping signals on this um account and as you can see, I don't know when was the deposit. Um, so this was on the 5th. So two days ago, I was playing around with this scalping. Um, first one was good. Took a couple of L's. So lost a couple. And then the last three were, were good. So for those of you that want to know, does it work for scalping? Does it work for entry day? Does it work for swing trading? Yes, you can use it for 
all three scalping intraday or a swing um like i said the strategy is still the same and will work for those different trading styles so that was on the 5th which was wednesday last trade was taken so that was just in one day so the six yeah so that was just in one day um and the reason why i i started this demo for scalping is because i want to do i want to get back to doing some scalping and i think during this time of the year when the market is choppy um i think scalping is where it's at but anyway so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six out of eight, not bad. All right. So again, just wanted to show you that real quick. Let me put this back. I'm so OCD about stuff. It's crazy. Um, nope, don't look right. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys here. <laughs> And I'm not going to make you deal with my um, OCD. But that's going to bug me because I want to put it back to where I had it. All right. But, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to go over right now. Um, I know some members had some questions. Um, I was looking for more questions pertaining to this. I think you guys were asking about, you know, telling me I should add an algorithm to send alerts and things like that. Um, yeah, maybe in the future, but I can tell you this, sorry, my voice is cracking, but I can tell you this, um, I do have something exciting coming out for the FC Pro for the new year. I do not have a release date yet, but, um, I am working on a scanner. So the scanner will be able to scan, you know, all currency pairs and you know, it will look for those criteria for a perfect, perfect setup. Um, so it's in the works. No release date yet because it's going to take some time to um, get the perfect criteria for it um, and things like that. But I think it's going to be good. And I think you guys are going to like it. So anyway, you can look forward to that for 2019 all right so again if you don't have a copy and you want to grab a copy go ahead click the link below this video um, if you still have questions about it shoot me a I was gonna say a text message don't shoot me a text message because you don't have my personal phone number well you shouldn't have it all right <laughs> but anyway shoot me a message or Connect with me on Facebook if we're not already friends on there or hit me up on Telegram. I will leave all that contact information below the video. All right. So, yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys had a good trading week. You survived NFP. And I will see you in the next video.